Hi guys, today we are going to be practicing putting all the things we've learned about handwriting together and writing some sentences because we have learned how to write all of our letters this year, which is super cool. Look at this, I have a really cool shadow from the overhead light at my house. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> Huh. Okay, anyway. All right, so let's write some sentences. Let's see. Um, what would be good to say? Oh, I know. It's snowing outside today, so I'm going to write it. Now, how do we start a sentence? What do we do to start off a sentence? You guys know? What do we do with our first letter? Mm -hmm. We have to make it into a capital letter. That is correct. It is, now one thing about writing a sentence, you wanna make sure in between your words, you use a finger space in between. So in other words, you don't want your letters all squashed together and you don't want them too far apart, which we've talked about all year. All right, it is snowing. If you have trouble spelling things, try to sound out that very first letter. That'll help get you going. So in this one, no s is the very first sound you hear that s sound it is snowing and then i'm going to use my finger to make sure i have my words far enough apart yep outside is a compound word it's the word out and the word side and look at all these letters we just practiced in writing this sentence. We've got S's, we've got O's, we've got E's. Oops, my D got away from me. And I'm going to put an exclamation point because I love snow, so I'm going to make this an excited, strong feeling statement. It is snowing outside, which I love. Make some little snowflakes over here. I love snow, but it's too cold to even go outside and make a snowman, so, or a snow angel, which that's kind of a bummer. All right, it is snowing outside, so we practiced in a capital I and a lowercase i, a T and an S, an N, an O, a W, an N again, a G, a U, a D. Hmm, look at all those letters we practiced in just one sentence, how many we used. All right, that D is terrible. Don't make your D look like my D. <laughs> All right, it is snowing outside. Let's see, what else? Um, the wind, the, so again, we're gonna have a capital T at the beginning of our sentence. The, T-H-E, the wind, w, i, n, d. So if you sound out those words, when you spell them, that helps you hear all those letters. Sometimes that middle letter is hard to hear though, isn't it? Wind, especially when you blend the sounds together, wind, it's hard to hear. All right, the wind is I-S, let's make a V for very. And again, make sure you're keeping your finger space in between. You'll find these blank pages of lined paper at the back of your book. This page is actually page 39 in my book, so if you turn to the back, you'll see lots of pages that are just blank, which is kind of fun because you can practice all kinds of sentences. The wind is very cold. K o o d. Cold. That's a sight word for some of you, isn't it? Cold. The wind is very cold. This also is an exclamation point. The wind is very cold. I'm going to draw some wind blowing lines to show that the wind is blowing. I like to do that. That looks like it's windy, doesn't it, to you? <laughs> the wind is very cold. Mm. And I'm going to say next in my next sentence, my puppy didn't like it. So I have a puppy named Roscoe. And he did not like the cold snow on his paws. So I made a capital M because it's the beginning of a sentence. My Puppy, p, a, uh, p, pup, and puppy. That's the word pup. And puppy is another p, 
and a Y. My puppy didn't, or you could say did not, didn't and did not are the same word, did, or not the same word, but they're the sa they mean the same thing, sorry. They did, and when we do it, we leave out the O for did not, and so we put an apostrophe, and then we put a T. My puppy didn't like it. L-I-K-E. My puppy didn't like it. <laughs> I felt so bad he was running in the snow and he just kept looking at me and lifting one of his paws up like, what in the world is going on? I didn't really mean for this to be a story, but it kind of is, isn't it? It is snowing outside. The wind is very cold. My puppy didn't like it. So we have practiced a lot of letters. One, one letter we haven't practiced is the letter A. Hmm. No A's in here, are there? No B's? No K. Oh, yeah, we got a K right there. Let's see if I can think of a sentence that has an A and a Z. Um, ooh. Um, A. Capital A, because that's going to start our last sentence. A. Mm, polar bear. Polar. P. O. Uh, this is a hard one to sound out because it looks like it, you would say it polar, but that's pronounced polar, a polar bear. There's a B. A polar bear can, C-A-N, live I'm running out of space. I'm going to have to use the part at the bottom where there's no lines. Boo. A polar bear can live at a t. Let me scoot it up. At the zoo. <laughs> That's how I got our Z and I had to think, what could I write? A polar bear can live at the zoo. I don't like that they live at the zoo. They need to be in the Arctic where they belong, don't they? And I made a mistake right here. Polar bear is not one word. It is not a compound word. It's actually two words, polar and bear. If you make a mistake like that in your writing, you can do a couple things. You could make a line through there so you could show the teacher like, hey, I messed up. Or you could leave it alone and just hope she doesn't notice. <laughs> Have fun practicing your letters.